<laughs> Welcome to the show, man. Uh, this is the Talk Life Podcast. The weird thing is, I don't know if it's recording from the phone or recording from up there, but uh, we're on the road, we're driving, and me and MDI just got talking about um, the craziness that is life, because uh, both her and I, like, obviously, we're high school sweethearts. Um, yeah, well, and we've been together for a long time. Yeah, come on. But... The strange thing is, is how much, like, there was a lot of chances that you and I could have met, like, even way sooner in life. Yeah, Yeah. even way sooner. Because we got talking about, um, well, originally we we were talking about the train station in Detroit that's just been revamped. Excuse me. And so we grew up across the pond. (laughs) <laughs> from <laughs> Detroit <clears throat> in that area. And uh, so we got talking about that. But I, my family, when we would go to the States, we would go up to Sarnia to go across the border. Where, yeah, which is weird. You would go north. Yeah, to, to end up going in. Northwest. Yeah. To get to Michigan. Yeah. Because that's not Detroit up there. No, up there it's, I don't even know. I don't, it's I Michigan don't something. You, you've never gone across at Sarnia? No, I've always gone down to the States. Er, sorry. <laughs> no, that's sorry. okay. We should mention I've also had a mini stroke. Oh. So my speech is not going to be the perfect. Yeah. But I'm doing my best. Right. And the kind of one of the reasons that I've sprung this on her is yeah. since since the stroke, she hasn't wanted to podcast because she's worried about how she will sound, well, but... because I sound like a... No, no, no. I don't. don't even know. What do you sound like? You like, sound like you had a stroke. Oh. <laughs> like, that's it. Like, certain things, like, it's just... Unfortunately, the left side of her face is paralyzed, paralyzed or... Yeah. Um, Might come back. We're not sure yet. Yeah, they, like... It's it, only been about a month. So, yeah, she had a TIA, which is the... A mini stroke, yeah. It's, the, it's like the abbreviation for what it is. Um, what, two weeks ago, three weeks ago now? It's already it's almost been a month. It'll be four weeks on Saturday, and this is Wednesday. That's crazy. So, three and a half weeks. So, yeah, unfortunately, because of the. Like, and if anybody's been following along, Jesus Murphy, my wife has more shit happen to her than anybody on this fucking planet. In my opinion, I guess I don't know everybody. Yeah, definitely seems like that. But anyway, going back to our childhood. Yeah. We used to go um, over to the states, different like. Yeah, cities yeah. We would both go to Michigan, but we would go different ways. I would go up. What was Sarnia? Was Sarnia a ferry? Oh, I don't think you've never gone. Fuck. For some reason, I think it was a ferry, but I can't remember. Um, but anyway. Or they have, is it the Ambassador Bridge? What's the one that... Yes. The one you take over to Detroit is the Ambassador Bridge. And my family used to take it always. We would go a few times during the summer. Um, usually twice, maybe three, depending. Um, we would usually go for uh, Jays versus Tigers. Yeah. series in the summer. Okay. And, like, I'll stay and I'll tell, like, I'm talking, like, my family, two or three of my aunts and uncles and their children and my grandparents. Damn. It was, it was really fun. And some of us were Tigers fans and some of us were Blue Jay fans. Mm-hmm. So there was always, like, a rivalry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> too. So that was kind of funny. Yeah, no shit. That's awesome. We would only, we would go maybe once a summer, one day. We, it was a, a one day event. We would go, uh, I'd go with my mim and my pip, which uh, grandma and grandpa, for anybody. And they were the zaniest couple of characters. Uh, my my grandfather was very quiet and stoic, big mountain of a man. And then my grandmother was a tiny little bitch. <laughs> and like, she just was like, like, just everything sucked and fuck you was pretty much it. And part of the uh, atmosphere, I don't know, 
of going over was me and Bill would sit in the back and listen to them bicker. And yeah. the majority of it was just men bickering to Pip and him not really listening. He would, yeah, he would put like Johnny Cash or like uh, Red Sovine and like a lot of like that old time sort of like, what do you call I don't even know what you call it. So yeah, it wasn't exactly folk, but it like, uh, there would be music in the background and essentially there would be a guy talking over top of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it wasn't like a crooner almost. Oh yeah, like but like an old school. Like I don't I don't even know. Uh but yeah, so in uh he would try to ignore her Yeah, and just like he, essentially he would be like, Max, just look out the window and enjoy the trip. And and she, that that was not in her repertoire. And then I do believe there's been times where you told me you used to kick her out. Yes, and that was that was the fun. Essentially, that was the moment that me and Bill were always waiting for. Is eventually he would unbuckle her seatbelt and start reaching across and opening her door, and she like obviously he wasn't going to actually throw her out. Well, no. But he it would <laughs> make her go fucking batshit because he's just like, all right, Max, I'm throwing you out of the fucking car. And, and this, and me and Bill would just be in the back, like, holy fuck, is he gonna chuck her out of the car? Never happened. That after it closed, he would just kind of do a little huh, huh, and then just have this smile on his face. And he would look up in the rearview mirror at me and Bill, and just like, you could tell he was like I laughing. Yeah, like, yeah. and she would just be like, me, 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 like, so fucking mad. But yeah, essentially, we would go across, uh, we would shop at Target, or as we call it, Target, because um, we could get shit for cheap, and they had toys that we didn't have in Canada, and we would each, I think we'd each get, like, one thing until, like, we were a little That's older. Strange. Yeah, once we were a little older and we were getting, like, allowance money or, or stuff like that, then we, we would, be, yeah, we'd be able to buy whatever we wanted, but for the most part, it was, like, we'd go over, we'd each get a G.I. Joe, and then, uh, and I'm talking the little G.I. Joe's from the 80s, 90s, not the big ones. Yeah. Which are awesome. Like, I don't know why they're not still a thing, but I guess kids are kind of over that little sized guy or whatever. But fucking G.I. Joe was the tits back in the day. And, uh, no, that's okay. And then, uh, we would always go to eat at Ponderosa. I don't even know if those still exist. I think they might have closed down, but I have no idea. Um, yeah, and then we would come back across or whatever. And that was it. That was the day of it. Uh, totally not as cool as going to a, a baseball game and having all that fun. But it was our own. Like, I, we, we were poor, well, we right? So we made our own, we like. We went over just to shop. We usually went over to do, like, back to school shopping. Okay. Because it was a lot cheaper over there. Unless we all, you know, you always had to keep your eye on the dollar. Okay. And I, I don't know if they do, do people still do that like it was a big fucking deal when we were young like I remember hearing all, like all the time like ah oh, the dollar's up the, oh the dollar's down and like yeah it's probably in the fucking tank now we fucking anyway, suck we've gone off. oh yeah Ta so, tangents abound reel that so back in we could have possibly run into each other as children and didn't yeah. even know it yeah. No, and I guarantee fucking tea we did. Go ahead. Both of us were at the semifinals for Chatham Kent in seventh grade for shot play. Yep. So we would have been at the exact same high school all together. Uh, you know, we maybe were there at different times, but, you know, there's odds are we were there relatively at the same time. Well, yeah. We could have path crossed paths. Not path crossed. We could have path crossed. Yeah, we could have. Um, you never know. We could have annoyed each other. You know, like, we could have, you know, because I always remember always being annoying as hell. And at that age. Yeah. Seven. Oh, absolutely. Um, and then cooties and whatnot. I never really was big on cooties. <laughs> um, it was mostly your annoying fuck off. Yeah, I hear that. That's and a I, I, I fuck off. That was a strokey fuck off. That's her tough. 
Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and like, yeah, I guarantee fucking T, there's a really, I bet we did. I bet we crossed paths. I bet we saw each other. Something, because my, I, if I can remember correctly, was the shot put in the morning or the afternoon? That's what I thought. So I participated in the morning, but then I was there uh, with Cooch. Yeah, because Cooch was doing the what's the really long run, eight hundred meter. I don't remember either way. Like it's yeah. Oh well, yeah, I guess Cooch Coochie now is means pussy, isn't it? His name was Coocher, so we called him Cooch. This might be just a bird. Um, but anyway, you had to wait for him. I was, yeah, we were there all day. Yeah. So there is a very good chance that we, in fact, ran into, ran into each other, saw each Plus, other. Plus, the other thing we just realized, well, we talked about it a couple times. Yeah, but we were just talking that about it now. Your family used to fly Airbus 737 it's a good one. Um, my great uncle Kenny's auction house that was in a little village called Cedar Springs in Ontario. And I spent all kinds of time there as a kid. And that's insane. I was there all the time. We used to go through stuff and be like, um, because when different things came in, like, he would have, um, like he would go to a state's house and yeah. he'd get stuff that he thought they were selling for good cheap. Yeah, that he could and make a profit could, off exactly. of. Exactly. Yeah. Because he knew more about antiques and stuff, right? Absolutely. So he'd get shipments of stuff in and we'd go through it and organize it. And, oh, chairs go with chairs and, you know, nightstands go with nightstands or whatever. It was pretty much, you know, like child labor. <laughs> but, but all of us cousins thought it was fun, you know? Well, yeah, you're like, look at all this shit we do all gotta do. Back in the 90s or early 90s, you know? Yeah, like early 90s. Late 80s, late 80s, early 90s. Yeah. Until we got old enough that we'd be like, um, I want to go hang out with friends. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Organizing your stuff is fine. Right? But I now have a social life. Once you're like 13, 14 years old, you're like, I don't really want to hang out at uh, the auction house anymore. Yeah, and it's funny, like, I don't know, I don't even know why. We would, like, we would go, and, uh... Because your grandfather was always looking for a fine. No, absolutely, I'm just, but, uh, because, of course, they... would buy a whole bunch of those goddamn records at mm, Uncle Kenny's. Absolutely. And, sh- like, shit that we had to go through. And throw out. <laughs> yeah, when we were fucking dealing with my my mom's house. Yeah, like, probably. Excuse me. Um, it's oh, there's... crazy. Like, I wish we had... I wish there was, like, found footage, you know? Like... Yeah. Just... Even if it's grainy and really stupid, just be like, this is you, like, circle me. Mm. And then circle you and be like, you were actually at the same thing. No, I've said it a million times because the one, so it's very odd, my reference, if you don't video game, but the Grand Theft Auto, I don't know about the newer ones, but I remember San Andreas had this where like, if you hit the select menu, you could, uh, what you looking at, motherfucker? Um, you could hit the select menu and it would literally tell you everything, like how many, uh, places you robbed, how many vehicles yeah, you've blown all up your stats. all your stats and i've you said a million times life. i want that in real life yeah. and then i want the ability to be like okay show me 1989 yeah like yeah. show show like if if there was any bridge and like i bet it, i bet it fucking it would floor yeah, us we could look at our stats where we actually path crop Cr- yeah cross path that's a tough one for you today i know right they would they would match. Oh, that'd you know, be like, so cool. Sure. That would. That'd be insane. Because I guarantee we did. I guarantee it, there was uh, quite a few times that we crossed paths that well, have I no have clue. Said, like, no offense. I love you and everything. Oh, you know, okay. Where's this going? Me, but I've always said that I thought you were kind of creepy. Oh, I, I was a total creeper. Because you were infatuated with me. 
Yeah. From the first sight. Absolutely. From the first time I said I was a singer. And you would not stop staring at me from that day. Before. I did not know how to flirt. I had no idea. I just... You actually had the bright idea to date one of my friends. Yeah. To try to get closer to me. Yes. And then you actually fell for her. So yeah. I didn't know that. I did know that. But... Eventually, yes. But that's, yeah, like, it, it, our story is extremely strange, and I love it, but it's so weird. And I guarantee there's weirdness, like you said, that we couldn't even put together. Because, yeah, and I don't remember, like, I know why Pip went to the auction. I'm assuming I went for child labor myself to carry it to the car. Well, there's something to do and not just sit at home all goddamn day. Well, and I don't... It was probably on rainy days. Or... Or you couldn't fish, or you couldn't... Um, I'm assuming, it, yeah, no, I'm assuming actually it was probably on days where Bill would actually do something with his dad. And because oh, I didn't have a dad, dad, I think that Pip would take me places. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. And I just, I remember being for the most part bored out of my fucking mind looking at all this old shit, but that's where I started to see musical instruments. And that's, and I saw people buy drums and guitars and different things. And I was like, huh. Yeah, he had, like, everything. I was really sad when they closed it down. Like, obviously, Stephen has yeah. to Yeah. Yeah, and it's not um, like anybody wanted to keep it going or anything. I thought his son would. Because he lives in the same area. But he's not going to be Just not his passion, I guess. Problem. Well, in a lot of things, unfortunately. You can't save your money in this stuff. Well, no. Just go broke. Here's the thing, though. I don't know how many antique stores really exist anymore because of the internet. Now you now you can sell your shit on eBay or Kijiji or any of the, any of those other fucking things. You don't you don't have to go to a necessarily like a pawn shop or a antique store or an auction house. To do any of that. I, I think auctions still happen, but largely I believe it's just houses and cars now. Really yeah. And I'm sure you could probably still get some sort of deal in regards to it. But for the most part, I just remember sitting for a long time. And, like, there was so much that, like, we just sat there and watched and Pip had no plans on buying or anything. And, like, it was, it's, I don't know, it's cool. I, if you've never been to an auction, it's very interesting because... Originally, you kind of mingle with people and you walk around and you take a look at a bunch of shit. And then slowly they work their way through that stuff and people get to have the paddles and whatnot or raise their hand and shit and different things. And so it was a pretty cool uh, experience. But again, like a lot of experiences as a child, it does, it falls flat on you, right? Like you, yeah, you're just you don't like. Understand. Oh my God, this is boring. Yeah. You're like, Jesus, I could, I could be doing, sitting and doing nothing at home. <laughs> but like I said, that sparked my interest in musical instruments. And then eventually we uh, started a band and whatnot. And I have no idea. Pip got it for me. So there's a good Probably chance it could have, it could have came from there. I have no idea. I st And I still have that guitar to this day. And one day I would like to put it up on the wall because I have a hanging thing and all that stuff. But we just, we've moved around so much. I'm hoping eventually we can settle down and I can showcase that little bit. I, I, I haven't played. Get it for you for I don't, maybe, I don't think no. so. It look, because it is banged up. It's haggard. I used to fucking smash that thing. Like it probably doesn't even work. No, that's why I said, hey, you're a good friend. You don't want it. Well, it all depends on where we are and what we're doing in the next 10 years or so. Because deep down, I would love to actually pick up a guitar and maybe get lessons and learn how to actually play it rather than just tabs. Yeah, you were not that great back then. No, I know I was not that great. I didn't know. I was never taught properly. Yeah, I could write the lyrics. I could uh, arrange the music. Yeah. But 
when it came to actually writing, no, me, what are, are we? Okay, yeah. But yeah, if, uh, guitar, I, I was just not. Yeah. Well, it doesn't mean, so far, I don't think there's anybody here, but you gotta slow down because that's the law. But anyway, yeah, like, I, yeah. Uh, I liked, uh, I like playing guitar, but I would like to actually learn how to play the guitar. And now that I know things that I know, like I'd rather switch out what I have and put humbuckers in and that sort of thing and make it sound a lot better than it is. It was, you might as well just make it smooth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> actually, I'm, I do understand that actually <laughs> A whole wheel of cheese? Japanese. Not even mad. Oh, okay. Um, also, back there a little bit, because you were talking, so I didn't interrupt <gasps> Beavers. See, there was no, I, I went down for nothing there. I definitely understand. I understand. Well, that's crazy. You saw a beaver and an owl so far. I did see an owl earlier. It was so cool. So, yeah. I, would, I wasn't sure it was real until it moved itself. Right. And then I lost my shit. Yeah. But it was too late for me to see it. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. I didn't want to see a fucking hell. But, uh, no, that's awesome. That's one of the things, like, there's not a lot of great things to where we live, <laughs> unfortunately. But driving around um, and just, like, we're just cruising. Uh, and, like, this is pretty much what we do on weekends or whatever. We'll just kind of search and look for animals. We've seen a bunch of animals. Um We've seen a lynx, which is yeah, insane. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, fucking incredible. Was We've seen lots of bears, lots of eagles. Both of those yeah. Both of those yeah. Yeah, a little bit of each. Uh, a lot of herons. Oh, yeah. Herons are so pretty. Or, yeah, herons, right? Yeah. Um, or, or you can call them you know, cranes. Cranes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think they're cranes, you're right. But you always say here because we used to see blue herons all the time. Yeah. In Alberta when we lived there. Mm -hmm. So you're getting them confused. Yeah, they're very they're similar but different. They're like brown and orange. They have some amazing like orange fucking feathers on their head. They're pretty cool. Yeah, and then we've seen um what do you call them? Groundhogs. Yeah. Ferrets or stouts? Buggers. Yeah, we call them little buggers. I've seen ferrets and stouts and little things like that. Oh my god, that little white one that we saw. Oh my god. We should go back so over there. Dumb. Yeah, we just should, running around. That was yeah, they'll be brown or something yeah. now. But anyway, uh, in case we be, we stop talking and we're looking at things, that's what we're doing. We're searching for animals. But, uh, yeah, no, it's fucking insane that uh, we we could have crossed paths many years before. And, like, <laughs> I know it's easy to be like, well, maybe we would have uh, been together a lot longer, but we probably needed to grow that little bit Plus beforehand. Plus, you had from the time you were, like, 10 or 11 years old. Oh, yeah, hoes everywhere. <gasps> Girlfriend. Mostly summer girlfriends. Right? Uh, probably. Well, I yeah. remember Lori being her summer girlfriend. Yeah, I think summer girlfriends were a thing. Because she didn't live in the same town as us. So right. Only saw her in the True. Yeah, jeez. I didn't even, I didn't even think of that. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't know. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm saying that she didn't even pop in my head. I know. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I'm fucking 40. Going to be 41 next month. Like, I barely remember anything. Yeah, no, she's fine. She's married with kids. As are we. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just very cool. Life is very cool the way it works out. And, uh. I'm, I'm just curious, is there any... Well, I guess... I guess Chris's uh, setup's kind of along the same lines. They met early on 
when he, he was in the band. They and then did, they, they yeah, didn't get they, they, together. Something. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, they met in high school. We were in high school. And then we, like, they didn't date or anything. We just met. And then years later, probably five or six years later, mm-hmm. they met him again, like, after college and everything. And uh, they landed up getting married and two boys, beautiful boys. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm just curious if you if you're listening and uh, and you have any sort of interesting stories about uh, you, how you yeah spouse. how you met your spouse and uh, and that sort of thing, drop it in the comments. Like uh, if you're listening on YouTube, drop it in the comments. If you're listening on a podcast catching app like uh, Apple or Spotify, I guess you can't really do that, but you could check the show notes. You can go on any of our social media and just write a little blurb. We're on uh, Facebook, Instagram, I fuck around on TikTok. So you can find all of our shit there. Uh, and then, yeah, just let, let me know kind of your setup and, and how you met or maybe you knew them early on and then it didn't, it didn't come to fruition. Maybe you thought he, that he was, a, he was a long-haired creep in the corner with a trench coat. How weird was it that he dated your friend? Yeah, Ew. so strange. And of course, she was all like, he says he doesn't even know who you are. <laughs> because she was one of my very close friends. So I had told her, like, this guy is a creep. He stares at me in English class all the time. And so she had to prove me wrong. But anyway. Yeah. Meh. Not as close of a friend as I thought, I guess. Apparently not. But, say la vie, everybody is in their 40s now, so <laughs> none of it matters, but, uh, yeah. And I don't necessarily know that this is the end of the show, but uh, in case it is, you can, like I said, check us out on all the social media. You can get your podcasts and everything at nftfyb.com, so we got no fucking time for your bullshit. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, that's an easy way to, you actually, I think you can leave comments and stuff on there so head over there and write your stuff out and uh and yeah everything's there links to all of our stuff so you can reach out um i'm good i'm on instagram mostly yeah you've yeah you've started posting again which is good just a little bit a little bit definitely not my face i know i look for crossing you gotta be easier on yourself dude my left eye is so quasi like it's not quasi no, Quasi was like a freak. You are not a freak. <laughs> you just look like a pretty woman who had a fucking stroke. But that's it. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm good. Are you good? I'm good. All right, say goodbye to the people. <laughs>